One of the questions that I'll get asked sometimes is what's the difference between a Brazilian butt lift and a fat transfer to the hip dip? Well, a fat transfer to the hip dip basically means that we're filling that area between the, the posterior buttocks and your the side of your hip where the buttock tends to get concave where your, your femur or the bone inserts into your hip. That's an area of natural depression and it becomes more pronounced especially with skin laxity and weight changes where we gain weight above that area and sometimes in the saddlebag below that area. So filling that area helps to soften that in combination with liposculpting and tightening the skin above that area. On the other hand, a Brazilian butt lift involves all of that, but it also involves filling the buttock more comprehensively and through more access points. So most of my patients will get a fat transfer of the hip dip if I'm doing a tummy tuck, but if I'm doing a 360 procedure, I'm doing a more comprehensive Brazilian butt lift. So I can access the buttocks through multiple different access points, fill basically every square centimeter, and sculpt the hips and the lower back in addition, which is really critical for buttock shaping. So in order to do a full BBL, you really need a 360 liposuction procedure, or really at least a comprehensive liposuction of the back hip area as needed, because we're really trying to sculpt fine lines and create that hourglass silhouette without any rolling hills along the side of you. So hopefully that helps to clarify some of the differences there, and let me know if you have any questions about any of that. Thanks.